So, I was minding my own business the other day. Oh, shit. <laughs> so was I. And uh, here comes Orlando Brown. Man, what, what you do to that dude, man? <laughs> what the fuck you do to my man? My, my boyfriend. <laughs> So what someone said, someone, allegedly, he claimed that you originally gave the blue 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 bop. Yeah, <laughs> we joking, and that's I wanted to joke and laugh with it so much more, but when you know that brother is truly in pain and crying out for help, and really, I see when I look at him like, oh, how, how did we abandon such a talented young dude, and now we're laughing at him? You know what I mean? We used to laugh with him, now we laughing at him. And I've seen that happen so many times in our community where you watch this. Like I said, man, he was brilliant in Major Pain. He's on Jamie Foxx show with the chili cheese fries. And that's so like, yo, I used to really watch that kid and, and love that kid. He, you know, you, and you see him out at little red carpets and stuff. And like, you know, yo, the kid is popping. You know, like he going he to be somebody. And then you slowly see this turn, whatever it is. Uh, you know, I've heard various things. Like I said, I don't really know, dude, but... I, you you hear where there's substance abuse, whether psych, psychiatric disorders, just hard times, and he's not the only one. You know what I mean? I've seen a lot of these people in the industry. It's funny, man. Like even man, it's like the movie I uh, produced and uh, starred in, Underclassmen. Like three or four uh, the young actors in there committed suicide. Wow. And I was like, damn. You know what I mean? Like when you know, and these were, you know, we, I'm young when we doing these movies. I'm casting kids like 18, 17, 16, and these are my peers. And you look up 10 years later and because, and it's literally because that audition didn't go well because they didn't get this job. You know, my parents wanted me to make this amount of money this year so I could continue to support them. I didn't, therefore we fell out and now I'll take my own life. Like this industry is a motherfucker, man. Well, I've interviewed Orlando. <laughs> I've seen your interviews. I've interviewed him. And I and that's what I'm saying, but I, I got to I'm not picking anything, but if if I had to analyze it like where's your line of like, all right, I'm low key exploiting this dude because I know he, mentally he's not well. It's a fine line. Uh I feel you. Uh I can tell you that the persona that you see on camera with Orlando is not an act. Yeah, that is I, the same Orlando that I was dealing with before the camera started rolling. Yeah, and that's and that's be someone who's dealt with mental illness all my life, from my family members to to now even one of the reasons why I went back to school and get my master's in you know neuropsychology is to understand the brain because I've I've seen pe I know what a manic episode looks like. I know when someone's mind is moving so fast, you're like, dang, hey, that's genius. But then. Soon as you hit that, like it's a beautiful mind. Soon as you hit that one corner, now they're seeing stuff. Now they're schizophrenic. And it's like, it's so dangerous from where you see somebody like, oh, they're making you laugh and crack up one moment. The next second, they're jumping off of something or they're slitting their wrist because they don't have control of their neurons and how fast they're interacting. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's, it's, it's a little bit more complex and it gets deeper, but. I, I just, I, I can pick up on mental illness probably, you know, better than most just because I've dealt with it all my life. Yeah, it's mental illness. I think it's uh, heavy drug use. I mean, Which is a byproduct of mental yeah, illness well, itself, often, because uh, you're trying to find, it's really because a lot of it is chemical imbalance. Yeah, so, so you're it's trying self, to self-medicating self -medication. to get yeah. your balance right. It's self-medication. It's, you know, lack of funds. And from, again, like we always talked about access to ex excess and that, that idea of I was once here mm -hmm. and I'm, I just want to get back. One more job, one more. If they recognize how talented I truly am. So now you're chasing something that's no longer realistic. Opposed to you, you chasing this, this Hollywood life opposed to getting help to just normalize who you are. And, and it, it happens on various levels. And, it, and that's the thing, like, it was like, I didn't even feel like I really needed to address it because I thought, right. one. I, I didn't really think that yeah. you gave fellatio to <laughs> yeah, 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 like, I mean, In I, fact, we weren't even going to post it until uh, you responded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you and look, I, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, ignore this. Yeah. Okay? He's, he's tripping. But that's the thing. That's what fucked me up is the fact that because I was, I was, people were like, no, you see, I was like, yo. And I was, man, I got to pray for my young brother, <laughs> man. Like, and then legitimate media outlets started posting this. 
Yeah. And that's what that's what got me upset because you know yeah, again my, really, my my Malcolm X went on and I was like you know when he always says the media is the most powerful thing in the world because it'll start it'll have you you know hating the oppressed and loving your oppressor and and I'm like wow like clearly who who is this headline helping and when I watch my own people post shit and I'm like okay so this is clearly clickbait. Do you get extra money for posting this? Because clearly you see my young brother is in pain and struggling. So you're exploiting him. Then you come at me for no reason. Like big headline, Nick Cannon sucks dick. And I'm like, I and then, and, and I often, I'm like, who, how does this work? And we've had this conversation off camera before because one thing Vlad TV is, is a master at, <laughs> at the headline. And you know how to, even in the conversation, you know how to get somebody to click it to say, I want to watch that. Even if it's, if the words are moved around, but then when I say, when it's moved around to not just for clickbait, but to tear down something. And then I gotta, I gotta sit up here and spend my time like dealing with something that's so utterly ridiculous. I was like, yo, let's get to the root of the issue. Like you want to believe I suck dick. All right, where's your Nick Cannon sucks dick confirmation check? Yes. <laughs> Sucking all the dick in the industry. That's gonna be the headline too. Bill, Who's put next? That up there. Yeah, yeah. But Nick Cannon says he sucks all the dick in the industry. Uh, but like, come on, man. Like, that's the most ridiculous thing, pardon the pun, I've ever heard. But that's not what needs to be addressed. The two things I felt needed to be addressed: the fact that my young brother needs help, and the fact that media, I heart media. When I saw I heart posted, I saw Complex post, I saw Shade Room, World Star. These are million dollar entity if, if they don't have a million dollars they're owned by companies that got billions and you, and they sit in those billion dollar companies those establishments are sitting back laughing at us like look how they love to tear each other down no other community but our community does that no other community laughs and jokes at someone else's turmoil or someone else whatever the situation is and that's i feel like that's where i was like i want to elevate the frequencies that we on man and the fact that like the funniest shit to me is like i wrote a whole dissertation hmm. about this. And they're like, man, anybody got to write that much shit, they got to be sucking dick. <laughs> like, that's the gayest paragraph I ever seen. My mother fuck that paragraph. Like, I'm not reading that I shit. I ain't reading that shit. That nigga suck that dick. You said you wrote all them fucking words and dick sucking words. Like, you suck the dick while you write dick. The fuck are my people? These are my people. 